All right. Hello, everybody. Hood Tastic here, and I got a game for you. This game is called Fears the Fathom. Norwood Hitchhike. I definitely did part one, Home Alone. And uh, if you're a nice follower, go ahead and like and subscribe to receive my video prior to this one. No, but back then I didn't use a webcam. So I didn't want to show my face. I'm showing my, well, I'm showing a face. That's all you need to know. <laughs> anyway, let's get it to it. Let's do it to it. Yeah, part one was awesome. So I know this is going to be just great. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but it didn't help me help even just a little bit. I'm one of those people who that love gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get a chance to, and sometimes even met some of my online friends. And my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to the drive, but I, the plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I, I was at went great, and now the day is time to drive at home. When I set off, I soon realized traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. I'm going to go for a little 12 hour drive. All right, cool. Off. I turned the music off because it's copyright issues. I don't want to take no chances. You dig? Yeah. Oh no. But I ain't checking no text messages until I get like somewhere safe. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Gas light turned on. All right, cool. That ain't too bad out here. Oh, Lord. Slow it down real quick. Put you on the side here like this. So I can see what's going on. I just kind of addicted my whole thing. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Gas station. Turn on in, buddy. Turn. Turn the wheel. I said, turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. I don't even know what side it's on. Uh, and the wheel turned a little better than this. Let's just hope, it, let me see. What size is it on? You know what? These are old model joints. It probably is in the back underneath the gas uh, the, uh, license plate. Yeah, I don't know about that though, huh? Back in the day, back in the day, you, you would come out you would lift your, your tag up and the gas hand, the gas is right there in the back. What y'all know about that? That's how old I am.
You know what though? And I forgot what gas uh what gas number that is. I do that in real life too. You park your car and then you walk in and halfway you be like, uh what? What gas what, what? You gotta turn around. What? Oh, you can't type it? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let me get a 10 on 2. Bridge. No one valley, bro. Okay, thanks, dog. I'm not joking, man. Be careful. I see what there. You're a lonely fellow, man. Like you. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? Never mind. Why would I ask some strange person that mess? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Step in the gas hard. You can Why? Some people say she died in a car accident. On problem like, oh. You know, they put it on the rope and the thumbs out. Damn, what you think, man? They just ain't. All right, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta do. Oh, he just asking what's going on. That is. I told you to take that flight. Oh, you know what, though? Some parents are just overprotective. It's all good. Yo, why, like, why are you buying my car? And why are you walking so? Hey, you got something to do? You got want? You want to talk about something? Huh? Get away from my car, jerk! Jerk! <laughs> Such an old thing, old name. But what mama want? I don't know you find any stuff at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for my love? I'll pay you back. She ain't paying me back. She ain't paying me back. I go home. Be like, yeah, that was like uh, five dollars. You gonna ask your mama to pay you back? I took care of you your whole life. <laughs> I cooked dinner for you. All right, all right, fine. You ain't got it. You ain't got me back. It's all good. Dude, in the corner. There you go. Pump one. Dude. Why you say 10 on 2? I'm on 1. You serious? Are you serious right now?
There it is. All right, let's get that game back a little more. You gotta be close enough now. All right. Let's get this gas and head on home, you know what I mean? Little tank and I was all on the road again. What? Let's do it. All right. Think we good? We good, folks. Let's ease on down the road. Being on the road, you love. Realize the thing, monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them look just like you and me. So. Oh, what? No, it's not expired, mama. We're not expired, dog. Dog will eat anything you give it to him. He'll sniff it first. Why are you tripping? I knew homeboy mess with my damn car. They done set me up. I'll be catch up to this guy anyway. We gotta slow down cuz I'm a lay foot. Yes, buddy thought we were suspect. He balled out. Um, can I get some lights? Thank you. I'm driving wow. Crossing the bridge, this is all good. This is a bridge of like, you gotta wait for one person to go, you know, this way and then, it's a one lane bridge, is what I'm saying. That's what it looked like to me anyway. No GPS to work in these uh backwoods. You know what I mean? What? Well, hold on now. Uh oh. What's that noise? I ain't stopping. Believe that. Like a sound like that. It's a very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. Head. Like that, that noise that sounded like a dead horse or a goat or whatever, whatever it's supposed to be. Um, I bet that is something that, like, if I was a sop, it would be like some random ending or something. Like, I'm not doing all that. Like, I mean, well, if there's multiple endings. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Go, go, go. Come on now. You act like you can't get past this mess. Come on now. You need a clear path. I promise you. What? Some scoop you up, man. I'm just, you deserve it. Is that all? Is this the same log? No! Let's go. Hanging around, playing around. Now what? What are we gonna do now? No! I don't mean to make it sound like a cliche horror story, but you already did that. On the clear moon night, it was not really clear, but that moon is something serious, man. At least you got lights on. And there's some creep you can get into your car. You know what I mean? Oh, time will float by on you, boy. Hey, 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 hold on now. Where you going with it? Boy, look. You're evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another person, another human being, standing like this. Well, I guarantee you that fat boy in that damn uh, gas station, terrible. You better watch out for people on the road. Keep driving. What you think? Some people gonna believe it, some people not gonna believe it. Now, if I was strapped up with a with a nine milli, I pick you up. Hey, hey, hey! No, hold on now. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on now. Wait, look, look, hold on. Oh, got somebody. And we run, we can like walk fast. Very good, very good. Hey. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I'm saying my car just broke down. I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? This is the nearest stop where I can call for help. All right, all right. Go in the back. All right, thank you, sir. Cause, um, being out here alone, in the dark and the moon's gone hey, that ain't too cool but come on let's hurry this up Must be heavy stuff. <laughs> All right. I think we good. I think we good.
Damn, I mean, I think it would have robbed, but you ain't gotta rush me, though. Think what I'm saying? Look around a little bit, make sure you ain't got anything suspect. Mm-hmm. I can unlock the door if I want to, so it's all good. You don't want to tell me who you are, where you're going? Hey, it's none of your mother it ain't none of your business. You say so. That's right. If you say thank you, nosy. Oh, mind, mind you, mind yours. Just, just give me up the road. I appreciate it. I'll give you five dollars. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you're a one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I don't know. They never broke down like that ever before. It's my dad. It's pretty old. What you saying? You know something I don't? Eh? Don't think that slick. You better use your hand. <laughs> um. So what do you think about what the, what he told you about the gas station? Oh, you heard, but I asked you, Alec. You ain't know nothing. You see that? He looked right at me on the top. Boy. Interesting. He tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? With the monster, let's see. Uh, I've never seen a monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron. You should remember this. You don't bother them. You don't be bothered. All right, cool. All right, we ain't got nothing to talk, uh, talk to you about. You know I'm sorry for being... Okay, okay, I get it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Get me, a, get me to my spot. Thank you. Call uh, my pop. He come get me. He'll probably chew me out because he told me... Like, pop, files will be like, I told you. I told you, you should have never done it. You should have never done it. You should have never went. You should have went by yourself. You should have flown. That's a little bit of talk he dropped me about me. Okay. Apparently, you offer roadside assistance. He sounds like I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. You see, I'm okay. No truck right here. Let's get the homeboy. Come hook me up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, look around, cause thing could be a little suspect, you dig? Yeah, I need a room to shack up for the night. How much is for a room? Forty for a single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Daddy, time will take care of the next thing in the morning. Whew. Gotta get home. Gotta get home, buddy. Get that 90 up out there. Good, I'll take, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nice to it. Okay. I'm not trying to aggravate anybody anyway. Number nine over there. Not approved for occupancy. That, this right here is like. This is a bootleg motel. Number nine, right? 
Alright, um, not delivered. Oh lord. Well, eleven, ten, nine. Said there was a smell, some musty smell from the old houses. Get this, okay. Mm hmm. All right. Your creepy big teeth having ass in my. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service. And a, okay, okay. You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. He, he, hell, get out. I'm gonna have to ask you to step aside while I make room. I'll just get my stuff. Why you? Mm. Well, my stuff gotta be inside here, cause like where else would it be? You left it outside. You left it. I left it inside of that going like. Main room. Don't touch my shit, homeboy. Whatever. I'll fix it later. I don't get the rest of my things. He's still in the room. Like, why? Well, get out of my room, dog. You know you could put your hat on your head and grab something else, right? Take that. Since <laughs> you're standing looking stupid, fix it up. Good boys and girls, pat pat. <laughs> pat pat puppy. That's a pug, isn't it? One of them dogs, ugly as hell. Sorry for dog lovers, but hey, it is what it is. Now what? I had a word with Joe about the situation. What's wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't you worry, it's safe here. I I, I go get your call. <laughs> Now that the room phone's not working. Oh, are you serious? We've been here trying to get a fix. We haven't seen them. You know what, though? But you have a good night. He's gonna push me out of the way, huh? Get out of my room. It ain't working. I was not working. Let me put all my stuff over here next to me, cause. I won't come in here and ride me. I need to be fast and grab some of all my goodies. You know what I'm saying? He just don't know. He might want some puppy child. Or he wants some cat. <laughs> oh, we ain't doing copyright. That was a Mighty Mouse joint, I believe.
Hi, homeboy. No. What you doing? I know I seen homeboy peep in here. Alright now. Close you up. Close you up. Let's call it a night. Coffee. Alright. Where can I get this coffee at, though? What a coffee machine at? He joins so ran down. Why'd I leave my door open? Like what? All right, what do we got here? Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla. Cappuccino, let's do that. That's got marshmallows in it. I like marshmallows. Oh no. Oh no. Everything. Oh. Hey, you got hit with the good stuff. And all the controls are backwards. This is nine. It has to be nine. Get to the bed, oh my gosh. Get to the bed. And you got Rufy. I left my door open again. I know I left my door open. I was sedated. Yo! Homeboys, like, oh my gosh, I'm still on the on on.
thank you. Stand up. Who is it? No, now do something. Huh? Huh? going back. Where are we at? Oh, I gotta do this whole part in? Well, I'm not going to uh, let y'all struggle with that. I'll, I'll chop it up to where we left off. All right, folks, we are back to where we left off. Um, that was a good one. That was a good one. Let's keep going. Open the front desk. Open the door. Did I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't. My complaints. My complaints. What are you making all Keep it down, miss. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not. We don't have no car machine here. It's right over there. I hate my job. Well, look. You coming? Cause you act like you don't believe me. It was, it was right here. Dude, it's real trash right now, sir. Check the thing about a TV. It's just it's so a little gloomy out here, isn't it? Okay, we got some, uh, requires water. Okay, should be good now. Alright, we straight. Oh, hell no. What you want? Hello? 
Oh, what? Hello? Are you tripping? Oh no. Who is it? Please, Omar, do I need help? What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. No. The fuck? Like. No. I know you went. So what? No. But you know what though? You need to call now. Well, man, I ain't got no phone service here. Can we save? Can we save? Did not say. Whatever. What? Now get him. Now get his ass. Go get him. Oh. The I found it really weird that the manager interfered. Inferred not to get the police involved. Okay, okay, okay. I believe the town would have been going to a cult. Okay, Tommy arrived at the car for like a year, and there was a in. Okay, so I got I got a pretty decent ending. <clears throat> ending credit music. I can't do music. Cause this is copyright, you know what I mean? I can't take no chances. But this was an awesome game. This is good. And it got me with a real big jump scare too. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It was really good. <clears throat> but you know what, though? Let's go back in. Let's go back in and see what would happen if I was to open the door while homeboy is standing there. Should I? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to work on that. I ain't going to take no chance. 
But I'm definitely glad I played. It was worth it. Man, I can't wait for the uh, episode three. So, enough rambling. With that being said, I am Hotastic. This is Fears to Fathom. Norwood Hitchhike. And I am gone.